Yeah, this is Scott. What we're going to be doing today is playing a little bit with our layers palette and our gradient tool. So let's go ahead and get started. I have two images, one of an image of a highway, kind of a cool image. By the way, both these images were found off of the Creative Commons search site, creativecommons.org, and I'll put direct links to the images on tutorialstop.com. So if you want to try this out, well, go to tutorialstop.com. You'll find the links. You can download the images good to go. So here we have a picture of this highway, very cool. Uh, the photographer took a really nice photo there and then we have this picture of this cool looking waterfall. It looks like paradise basically. So we're going to create this photo collage with the parts of both pictures. So let's go ahead and start with this one right here, the one of the highway. I'm going to get my rectangular selection tool found in my tool palette here. So I'm going to select my rectangular selection tool. I'm just going to create a selection. I just want the highway. I don't really care about the sky. By the way, when I drag this out, dragging it out with my mouse, I'm not letting go of my mouse button. You can always hold down your space bar. As long as you don't let go of your mouse, you can move the entire selection around, which can be helpful. So I'm going to move that down. Maybe pick up a little bit of the sky. That's okay. But I'm going to just move that down so whenever I want to move my selection hold down your space bar get it into place let go and you can finish off your selection so there we go we have a nice selection there go activate my move tool you can either tap your V key or select the black arrow in your tools palette which is your move tool you can move this over to the side here so you can see both photos the highway photo and the picture of paradise so to speak I'm going to place my move tool over the section of the photo I wish to drag over. I'm going to click and hold down on that section of highway and drag it over. When you see that plus sign, you can go ahead and let go. And then you can drag it into place, kind of make some adjustments. So there you have it. I'm going to move this down about right there. So that looks fine. I'm going to pop out my layers palette over here so you can see it a little bit better. Currently I have two layers, the one with the road and the one with paradise or the background layer. I'm going to double click the layer one there and just call it road or highway or whatever you wish to call it. It's not important. So inside your layers palette you have this road layer and the background layer. Make sure the road layer is selected and come below and let's go ahead and add a layer mask to that layer. So I'm going to click on this little button or little icon found at the bottom of our layers palette it looks like a little white circle activate a layer mask in a layer mask you can see it's currently it's covered in white and you have to pretend that this entire layer has this white layer mask over it whenever there's white paint on top of that we get a uh, we can see everything on that layer however if I start painting on this layer mask with black I'm gonna see through the layer below it so just to demonstrate this, I'm going to select my paintbrush over here and we're going to use white and black. So you can either hit your D key to return your colors to both black and white or um, you can set by set your default colors to black and white by clicking these two little check boxes. Something also that I want to point out is you can change these two colors by clicking this little switchy roo arrow. Yes, that is the technical term, switchy roo arrow. And notice it flips the colors back and forth. You can also tap the X key on your keyboard. Notice each time I click X, it gets swapped. The foreground and background colors become swapped. So remember, if I paint with black, I'm going to go ahead and paint with black right now. You can see how I painted away that white sheet, my layer mask area, and everything that is painted with black, everything that was painted in black, I can now see through to this bottom layer. So I'm going to switch these by tapping my X key. So now white is my foreground layer. I'm going to paint everything back. So I'm just going to paint over that. You can see now I have a solid white sheet. So I can't see the layer below it. Well, something that's kind of neat that you can do is use your gradient tool. So I'm going to come over here and activate my gradient tool. It's found next to your eraser. You might have to click and hold down if your paint bucket's active. Click and hold down and activate your gradient. Come up to the very top to your options palette. Click on the gradient option and let's choose a black to white gradient. 
Okay, it's this third one in. Let me go over that step again. Go up to the top and just single click inside this color bar. Just click on that. Choose this third gradient, black to white. Click OK. I'm going to move my layers palette over the way so, out of the way so you can see what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the mask. And you got to be careful because you can get off the mask because we're working on the mask section. Notice how I can click on both of these sections. I can activate the road, which is not what we want activated. And if I was to paint black and white on the road, it would be just like painting with a paintbrush black and white rather than painting on the mask. So activate the mask. You know the mask is act activated because it's got this little box around it. Also up at the top, notice it says layer mask. So we're working on the layer mask. Can move this to the side. Remember, we have our gradient tool activated. It's black to white. Now watch what I can do. I want to start the black right in this area. So I'm going to click right in there. And remember, whenever we paint with black, it pops through to the bottom area. And I'm going to drag this down. In fact, I'm going to hold down my shift key to constrain my gradient to a nice straight line there. And I think I'm going to drag down to about right here and let go. We'll check that out. If we take a look at our layers palette here, we can have a black to white gradient. And everything that is painted black, I can see through to this bottom layer. Now, if it's gray, it's kind of see-through. It's not quite black. It's not quite right. white. So it's semi-transparent or semi-opaque, depending on which way you want to look at it. All right, so we have this very cool-looking gradient. In fact, I think I want to go back over it. I don't quite like this line right here. So I'm going to start my black to white gradient here instead. So I'm going to click there, hold down my shift key, kind of drag down a little bit. You can see that took care of that line because it painted it with a solid black. So it popped straight through that area. It's gradual fade to gray, giving us this cool road collage. So a lot of control there with that layers palette and layer mask. Very cool tool. You can see I blended this highway nicely with that waterfall. It was just simple, simple to do with that layer palette. Just remember, you're always painting with either black or white into the layer palette. And if you paint with gray, because it's neither a black or white, but in between, you get a semi-transparent or semi-opaque, depending if your glass is half full or half empty type of person. Okay, so there we have it. Pretty cool. Go ahead and put that away into your toolbox.